Okay, big, big, big update today. Let's quickly read through all the changes and updates for patch 1.5 and then see how different things feel for the characters, especially the heavy. Let's check it out. Okay, welcome to patch 1.5. Today we are introducing our very first limited time event, Solo Bang It! This experimental twist on Banquet pits contestants against each other in a fight for individual glory in a 12-player arena. Okay, 1v1v1v1, 1v1, 1v1, 12 times. Love it. Just like Banquet, first to get 40k and cash out. Wins. Great. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Fair play guidelines with revamped and improved detection methods for unfair play. Okay. You already have an anti-cheat, so I guess let's just, you know, turn it on. I guess let's turn the anti-cheat on now. Um, from now on, we'll restrict cheaters with more confidence and we'll be able to stand firmly behind our bands. Our goal, as always, is to make the game safe, fair, and fun. Right. Okay, finally, we decided to update the size of the store. Okay, whatever. Balance changes. Okay, abilities. Charge and slam. Fixed an issue where players could charge while stationary and stealing an extract. Interesting. Cloaking. Big talking point cloaking device. Increased activation cost from 1 to 2 seconds. Pretty good. Increased minimum required charge time to activate from 1.5 to 2.5. Okay. Good, good start. Good start. Um... Grappling hook will no longer attach to objects that are attached to carryables. Will no longer attach to objects that are attached to carryables. Okay, nice. Uh, guardian turret will now shoot target dummies in the practice range. Huge change. Big. You can now shoot target dummies in the range. Okay. Uh, mesh shield decreased from 1,100 to 1,000 health. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. Balance out the heavy a little more. Uh, I don't have a real problem with that. Recon senses, increased activation costs. Recon senses have gotten really popular, so that's good. I mean, it's. I still think it needs more balancing. It's essentially... It, well, no, it's not essentially. It is wall hacks in a game. I think that needs to be nerfed a bit. But they did it a little bit, but still. Uh, decreased minimum charge time to activate from 2.5 to 2 seconds. Okay, so that's actually not a nerf. Okay, here we go. The big one. C4. Player damage decreased from... 210 to 155. Okay, that's a big damage decrease. Player minimum damage decrease from 120 to 100. Okay, interesting. Minimum damage. That's not a big decrease, to be honest. But okay. Flashbang cooldown decreased. Gas mine cooldown increased. Incendiary mine decreased to the same as the gas mine. Vanishing bomb cooldown decreased from 20 to 18. RPGs. Player damage decreased from 150 to 140. You can no longer one-shot a light with RPGs. Stun gun. I was using the stun gun a lot yesterday in a couple games I played. Decreased duration of stun effect from 5 to 3.75. That's a good change. Uh, I think it comes back. The... I think stun comes back in an appropriate amount of time, but I do think the amount, meaning like, you know, you shoot the gun and, and you get a recharge. But I think that, yeah, being stunned for five seconds is a bit, is a bit much. Tracking dart. I still, I've never used the tracking dart. <laughs> Cooldown decrease from 50. Great. Awesome. Added new scoped zoom sensitivity multiplier to the settings that affects the tracking dart. Okay. Thank you. Game modes. Bag it. Game show event. So, uh, interesting. I kind of glim uh, skimmed through this. Uh, took a glimpse earlier today. No changes on things like Dead Go Boom or in-game events, which I was kind of kind of hoping for. So, game show events uh, start time reduced from s minute six to minute four, so they just start earlier in the game. Quick cash game show events start time reduced from minute six to minute four. Okay, so that's the same. Team wipe respawn time increased from 17 to 18, and in ranked increased from 25 to 26. Uh, okay, same thing with regular tournaments. Tournaments will now unlock after players have completed one round, reduced from 12, and I assume ranked is still the same. You have to complete 60 rounds to get into ranked, which is good. Uh, maps, Las Vegas, updated destruction behavior to get more realistic destruction, updated strain system to get more realistic, okay, nice, updated various zip lines, okay, throwables, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, deploy, uh, as big of a change as C4, I think, deploy, deployable, wait, wait, what, 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 what is this, deployable, deployable, 
deployable explosives such as C4, breach charge, and mines will now add mass to throwable objects, causing them to travel less far when thrown. I noticed that I feel like I was trying to throw some of the red throwables uh, with a gas mine on them, and they weren't going too far. But that was like two days ago, so I don't know. Weapons, flamethrower, damage increased from 28 to 30. Okay. LH1, which already does a lot of damage, increased from 47 to 49 per shot. So if you hit one headshot, you can three tap a light. Wow. I assume that's what that means. Uh, M11, recoil pattern updated, making it easier to control. Okay. Okay. Uh, shotgun, this is the SH1900, which is the light shotgun. Uh, damage decreased per pellet from 12 to 10. M60, damage increased one. Right shield. Okay, yeah, I've, I've been seeing a few more right shield players recently. Updated attack animations and hit sweeps to make weapon feel more responsive. Fixed issues where the right shield could be invisible and still block bullets. Thank you. Fixed an issue where the right shield could block bullets while the player climbed a ladder. I feel like it probably should block bullets. Well, I don't know. Whatever. Um, I say 12, the big, big, big boy shotgun. Fix an issue that allowed... Yeah, uh, Otter showed that in one of his videos. A weapon to be reloaded faster. That was a glitch. You just switched. You basically hit, you did your four shots, then switched to, like, to an RPG, then switch right back, and you can keep shooting. Uh, sniper rifle added new scope zoom sensitivity multiplier. Sure. Throwing knives. I, I, I noticed this. I haven't used throwing knives that much, but the first time and one of the only times I used them, I, you couldn't see where you were throwing them. So they added trail effects to make the projectiles easier to see. Smart, I like that. Shorten lifetime of knives stuck in metal surfaces. Okay. And then they actually buffed the silence pistol, which is interesting. I'm not sure if I need a buff. Uh, content and bug fixes animation updated to some new or some main menu weapon animations. Left side inspection animations. Okay. I assume that's just if you have your gun on the left side of your screen. Um Audio replaced an old unattenuated sound on the glitch trap. Fix the zip wire attachment sound that could play on the main menu. Okay, fix some issues where hair could clip through various headwear. Thank you. Fix some skinning issues. I saw that like the um the tattoos were kind of like blurry on some parts of the wrist and not others. Okay, fix some skinning issues, sure. Uh, controller added an option that allows controller players to pick the priority order of reload, sure. I'm unfamiliar with that, I don't play on controller. Console fixed an issue that allowed mouse and key. Okay, nice, <laughs> sweet. Crashes, fix the server crash where players could attach to zip lines and disconnect at the same time. Wait, what, nice. Fixed a client crash that could be caused by certain outfits in the battle pass and store screens. Disconnects fixed an issue where the game servers could very rarely shut down early due to how players connected. Great. Implo improved uh, the floor number display and elevators. Thank you. Fixed lingering smoke clouds. Yeah, I've seen some of these. Yeah. That appeared during the end of the round sequence. Fixed team logos not always streaming in during the end of round sequence. Monaco fixed an awning that partially clipped through. Sunset or retractable awning. No more. It's just fits. You can't retract it. Uh, optimized lighting for the fog and storm weather types. Okay. Uh, so I wonder if that's going to be like a... That should be an, uh, an FPS boost, honestly, right there. So fix an initial spawn in high. I remember this. You just spawned at the back uh, of the hospital and ran into a small dead end. <laughs> fix some railings that could block bullets. That's good. Uh, Vegas fixed an issue where the map border blocked bullets and grenades. Sure. Fixed a ladder that sometimes caused players to get stuck. Fixed some issues with intersecting and floating assets. Fixed an issue where the Las Vegas spotlights would sometimes be culled. Okay. What does culled mean? The culling. Removal of reproductive animals from the flock. What? Anyway. Fixed an issue where the Las Vegas spotlights would sometimes be culled unexpectedly. Movement. Fix an issue where players could slingshot themselves, aka super glide, by grinding <laughs> by grinding against objects during vault interactions. Vaulting. Already got a buff in the when the game released. Fix an issue where players could gain extreme speed by picking up objects that were being vaulted on. <laughs> I, sh I should have tried that. Uh, updating vault, updated vaulting to feel snappier and be more aligned to ledges. Good, very good. Quick melee, fix an issue, replace with quick melee on ladders. Okay, I don't, you killing on ladders. Like, uh, UI, fixed, okay, these are really not a big issue. VoIP, set VoIP to be enabled by default on PC with push to talk set as the default input. New installs only, fine. 
And same thing on console. And yeah. Weapons. Fix an issue where bullet dispersion slash spread when not updated to player switch between items. Throwing knives will now have the correct skin. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, fixed cheat exploit with melee weapons. That's about as broad as it gets, but thank you. Okay, let's get into the game and see how it feels. Big, eh? big bash. Ooh. Big rash. Yeah, Danny. My, my gun's not working. Okay. My gun was not working. Team here. He's half health. Came down, it came down. This Merlin guy's half health up here. Oh, it canceled my steal. I think you got it. Fucking awesome. No. How'd this motherfucker. Fuck! Oh, you're nuts! <laughs> ah, there's more! <laughs> oh my god! That's fucking ridiculous! The guys up there? Oh yeah. Nice. Close to me. Oh. Oh, jeez. It didn't come down? Wait, Why guy here. It? Why would it yeah. Oh, they, they go <laughs> Guess what? The dead go boom! Can we get over to that now? Nope. Good. I win my gunfight and die! Good! Good! Shoot me. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Yes, Danny. Yes, Danny. You, Danny. Do it. Do it. Do it. Come on. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What a steal. What a fucking steal. Now it falls. <laughs> and now it's being stolen. Dude, Are you? I can't. I cannot. Okay, look, look, look. Hold on. Oh, yeah, but I got climb it. Must go. Oh. How did you not die stealing that? Oh my god. Wow. What the heck? Anytime <laughs> I do something right, doesn't work. <laughs> do something completely idiotic, we're in. works perfect. Okay, so in conclusion, did the changes to patch 1.5 actually change the meta? And 
Um, to be honest, I, I don't think I don't think they did. Now, of course, I can you know go up to one of these barrels and do this. And now, oh look, I can't throw it as far. But I can go up to this barrel and do this. And and do that to a medium. So like, I, I don't know. Does that actually change anything? Do I like the changes? Yes, I think they're appropriate, certainly. And I think they're you know starting to get a grasp on balancing the game. But like, I don't know. Is that fair? Maybe, maybe it is fair. I, I don't know. Uh, do I like the fact that they? Uh, are taking their anti-cheat very seriously? Yes. Do I like pretty much all the changes? Yes. But do I think the game is is now balanced? No. Was the issue throwing this? Whoa. Oh, that's right. I got to attach it first. <laughs> Was the issue throwing this? No, because like I just said, I go to this one, I do the same thing. Like I stack, I stack two. If I stack two C4s on this, like, that's a lot of damage coming at you. On top of that, I have one of these. I just, I think it's just a lot still. I think it's just a lot. I don't know. I don't know. Well, if, if you enjoyed it, uh, drop a like. Please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps the channel out. We will see you guys next time. Seek Gears.